Welcome back to the Vandy Sports Podcast. My name is Elena Morris here in Blacksburg, Virginia, and the Vanderbilt Commodores wrap up their season with a loss to Baylor in the NCAA tournament round of 64 with a final score of 80 to 63. Not the outcome that Shea Ralph and company wanted to have, but this is a season that they really exceeded everybody's expectations. Nobody thought that they were going to be an NCAA tournament team. I know getting to Vanderbilt, one of the first thing that first things that Coach Ralph told us uh, at the beginning of the year was her goal was to make the NCAA tournament, and they did just that. So the Commodores falling short to the Baylor Bears here in Blacksburg. Unfortunately, this game didn't really feel like it was close at all. Um, from the jump, Vanderbilt was outscored in every quarter but the second. Um, Baylor had a 14-point lead after the first quarter. They forced Vanderbilt to make nine turnovers in that first quarter and and Baylor's just a very good team they're very athletic um they rebound the ball well they made threes they made nine triples tonight where Vanderbilt only made three so as far as you know the stat sheet goes just not a great night for Vanderbilt Iona Moore led Vanderbilt scoring with 15 points but she was three for 14 from the field not a great night for her um as somebody that they try to rely on for scoring Jordan Cambridge 14 points an efficient nice night for Cambridge, though, 5 for 7 from the field, 7 rebounds, 6 assists. That was Jordan Cambridge's last game in college um, basketball. So Vanderbilt losing their floor general in Jordan Cambridge, someone who's been with this program for six years. But if you're Cambridge, you can't be mad about the way you guys went out. Um, it was the first time that she's ever made it to an NCAA tournament. So ending her college career on that note is definitely – a big thing for her and and she kind of talked about that after the game was over that nobody thought that they would be here but she was like I knew we would be here our team knew we would be here but I think that and she believes that Shay Ralph will have them ready for this moment next year and Cambridge actually talked about how she thinks that they're going to go further that they did um this time next year so not a great uh, outcome as far as the game goes. Camille Pierre, the only other double-digit score outside of Cambridge and Moore. She finished with 11 points. Sasha Washington really struggled tonight. Finished with eight points, just three rebounds. Again, Baylor really good at crashing the glass um, and, and made it really difficult for Vanderbilt to rebound. Um, so for the bigger picture, um, this season's wrapped up. But to talk about things, Jordan Cambridge, like I mentioned, uh, she played her last college game. Got to give her her flowers. She stuck around during COVID, during a coaching change. Um, she stayed here when when they weren't very good at all. A Nashville kid playing for her city. Um, you got to respect what Jordan Cambridge was all about. And next year, they've got a lot to look forward to. Bella LaChance, the other senior, um, that was honored on Senior Day for Vanderbilt. I was told after the game that she has a year of eligibility remaining. Uh, she has not yet made a decision on if she wants to return I'm not exactly sure what to take away from that, considering she was honored on senior day and the other senior, Jordan Oliver, was not. Um, I can kind of speculate that Oliver will be back next year, um, which is a huge piece because Jordan Oliver just does everything right. She does all the small things. She hustles. She rebounds. She honestly should probably shoot more about around the basket than she actually does, but that's a big piece for Shea Ralph to get back. And if Bella Chance makes that decision, um, to come back, they only lose Jordan Cambridge and, of course, the transfer portal. Um, we'll have to see what that looks like. I'll be sure to keep you all updated. Uh, but Jordan Cambridge, definitely the one for now that is leaving. Uh, Bella LaChance is up in the air. But the rest of this roster, have, they have a potential to do um, something special. Um, Shea Ralph has built a great culture here at Vanderbilt. And you can kind of tell by the way that they love and support each other. But if they can bring back Ayanna Moore and Camille Pierre, who is just a freshman, um, they could be really good. And what they've got coming in is very special, too. Um, Trinity Wilson will come in as a freshman. She provides size, which is something that I think Vanderbilt needs to really address in the offseason. Um, you got to give credit to Sasha Washington. She tried really hard, but she can't make herself be bigger than she actually is. Um, a little bit undersized in the SEC. Wilson will come in standing at six foot three, so has that size and ability to compete. Um, not highly recruited and ranked as their other recruit that everybody is raving about, rightfully so, Michaela Blakes. She's going to be very special. Um, the five-star commit number 10 player in ESPN's top 100 is the highest recruit that Vanderbilt women's basketball 
has ever gotten. A uh, six foot combo guard from New Jersey is tremendous to watch. Uh, I think she plays more of a point guard role and can score the ball, which is dangerous because I think that um, when Ayanna Moore is having an off night like she did tonight, Michaela Blakes is going to really help. Uh, no knock on Jordan Cambridge at all, but offensively, from the looks of it, Blakes has the ability to score a little bit better. Um, but again, Jordan Cambridge is going to be really difficult to replace. Although I do think that Blakes has the ability to, ability to step in and help, you know, fill that role of Jordan Cambridge. Um, paying attention to other people too. Madison Green, haven't talked about her. She got injured in the non-conference play, um, tore her ACL in the game against Lipscomb. She was a freshman who was really starting to get on a roll. That's somebody who could also play the point guard when um, Jordan Cambridge was out this year, but couldn't just because of injury. So uh, recovery for Madison Green is going to be big. And I imagine that, you know, if she decides to come back, she'll play a lot of minutes next year. Um, again, size is definitely a factor that Vanderbilt's going to want to consider in the offseason. Sasha Washington, you know, not as big as an SEC center, but I imagine that if she comes back, which um, at this moment there's no reason to think otherwise, but she could play valuable minutes at the forward position, um, even alongside another center that would provide them a little bit bigger um, size if they were playing against a bigger team like South Carolina or Tennessee. Um, I think it's very valuable though to keep her around. Um, Kim Pierre though does a good job playing the forward and somebody that I thought got progressively better throughout the season was Justine Bissot. It seemed at first that she was just a shooter um, trying to shoot from deep but I think the more I watched Bissot she looked a little bit more comfortable. Um, she didn't play a whole lot a, lot, a whole lot last year for Tennessee, about seven minutes per game. So for her to go from another team in the SEC to Vanderbilt and start, there's a reason that, you know, she didn't look confident or comfortable at first, but I think that she developed more as the season went on. She didn't knock down any shots tonight that were, you know, significant, but she rebounded the ball better. She made two crucial free throws against Columbia to send them to the round of 64 game. And I think she's defending a little bit better. I think that, you know, also she's developed a mid-range. She only used to shoot three-pointers. And um, I think a couple times, you know, even just in this NCAA tournament, she put the ball on the floor and pulled up from, you know, the foul line. So Justine Bissot, again, another valuable piece. Vanderbilt as a whole, if they can bring back these players, could be really, really good next year. Um, of course, Michaela Blake's turning Wilson coming in and, the transfer portal, another huge thing with college athletics. You never know who's going to be coming, who's going to be going, but there are some very good players out there in the portal that Shea Ralph and company can go after, and I'm sure more will hop on that portal as soon as the NCAA tournament or their run comes to a close, but absolutely nothing for Vanderbilt to hang their hats about. This was a season that nobody expected them to have, finished la projected to finish last in the SEC. They finished sixth made the NCAA tournament, got their first NCAA tournament win since 2013. And there's no doubt in my mind that what Shea Ralph is doing over there on the West End is something incredibly special. 23 total wins for the Commodores this season. They'll lose their floor general, Jordan Cambridge, but other than that, they have a lot of things to be excited about. And this is a team that you can just feel the, the program is, is trending in the right direction and everyone around them is um, showing support and their excitement for all the right reasons. For Joey and everyone else covering women's basketball this season, I've really enjoyed my time. I appreciate you guys following along. I had a blast and I'm uh, looking forward to next season. But that's all for now. I'll be sure to keep you guys updated over the summer on anything with the transfer portal um, as soon as I get that kind of news. But thank you guys for listening in and looking forward to next season. I'll talk to you all soon.